Wait, Taj, Wookiee is well funny. He winks at you when you point at him. I know. I invented him. <laughs> you meant to be trying out new colours for the Ribbon Warriors in the web gang. Danny. Oh, yeah, the pink or what? Pink? <laughs> this is an all-action web game. Mix masters of the universe, saving the world through sampling. <laughs> well, I've done it. Taj, Seymour, come check this out. Kerching, I've made Rookie go kerching. <laughs> Danny, do you get what this is about? If Vision's animation by this game is going to be proper cash for the rude boy stash. Yeah, <laughs> so stop playing with my Flash character. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rookie just winked at me. <laughs> What are you gonna do this week? Mm. Nothing. Thought so? Well, I'll go to my life! I've got all the money, so I'm gonna surprise Missy! What are you doing it? You're really going? Yep. <laughs> Great. Finally, I'll get the mirror and the ladies to myself. <laughs> Ain't it all the help you can get, girlfriend? Mm, so miss our chats. Oh, I can dizzy by text if you want. <laughs> I'll sit in your basket. <laughs> what does Colton Cena? She sounds like a dog. <laughs> she's a dog. It's Granny Carlton's dog. Granny C's got to live in Barbados, so she's asked me and Uncle Carlton to look after Miss P till she gets settled. But you're not the one looking after her. Colton is. I'm looking after her as well. Out of a baby monitor. That's my doggy monitor. <laughs> That's it. It's gone. I reckon Vision's animations are going to be well impressed with that package. Especially Rude Kid. <laughs> yeah, especially... <laughs> what? <laughs> I slipped Rude Kid in with the graphics. Danny, you marshmallow! We're trying to come across as businessmen, not miss the men. But it will get them on our side. Everybody loves Rude Kid. He's funny. Recall. Recall the message. Give it back. Why won't he give it back? <laughs> Well, maybe they won't notice Rude Kid. Not notice? A really annoying cartoon boy that jumps around their screen <laughs> winking at them. <laughs> Sorry, geese. Danny, sit down and zip it. And, and don't, don't touch, touch anything. anything. <laughs> <sighs> we under the line for dude boy. Stay positive, Michael. It's not closing down, it's extreme downsizing. Yeah, well, I didn't have any banners say extreme downsizing sale, so I guess I will close down after all. <laughs> Wanna cheer me up with a date? Sorry, Michael, no. No, oh, it's not still about Taj, is it? Why does everyone keep going on about Taj? So he's a really cool person, so he really gets me. So what? So? So we are totally friends now, and I'm absolutely OK with that. So why won't you go out with me? Last chance to date. Closing down sale. Hi, guys. What's wrong? Visions animation. Thank you for your web game. Bloody, bloody, blah. Unsuitable for development. Oh, tar, shame. Read on. It gets worse. We would like to buy the rights to your Flash character, Rude Kid. Oh, that annoying freebie thing. The shame of it. To make into an animated cartoon series. We will pay... Oh, not a lot. Still, Taj, a cartoon series about a character you made up. But we've been working on that web game for months. I sent him Rude Kid, swam in the naughty corner. <laughs> bit here about how they work out how much you get paid. It's more than it looks. How come? Well, it's complicated to work out, but I think you'll end up with... Oh. <laughs> Alex, your calculator's broken. That says one million pounds. <laughs> one, one million, million pounds! <laughs> Paper the triple M mission is accomplished! <laughs> yeah, I told you Rude Kid was special! I'm a genius! Yeah. <laughs> come out the naughty corner now! Yeah. Stay.
stage in your monitor. That is proper wicked. Just call me Penman. <laughs> <laughs> Order those. I don't care. Hi, Carisha. I wanted to ask if we can hire the chill for a surprise party tomorrow. <gasps> Send that for me because I'm going to LA. Are you? Yep. Got my passport and ticket. Carisha Lopez, the third occupation, honey. Destination Spain. <laughs> Sorry, Carisha. No, it's a party for Taj's mum. What for? It's a surprise. You'll see. Yeah, sure it is. For Taj's mum. You good though. You fooled me. <laughs> Not. So. The deal then? Ahem. I think you'll find, young lady, that I decide what goes on around here. You, Miss Petuna, you decide what program we watch. Do you know, maybe, say, uh, how Alex feels about Taj? It's just I've got this friend who kind of likes Alex, and he wanted to know if she still likes Taj. Your friend's a bit nosy, isn't he? <laughs> what? I mean, if he wants to know, he should ask Alex himself, not send you to snoop around for him. <coughs> no, Danny, you don't understand. It's me. I know it's you. I can see you. Uh, no, I mean, it's me asking about Alex and Taj. Oh, I see. What is you that wants to know if Alex likes Taj? You just made up the bit about your friend? Yes, yes. <laughs> and does she? Dunno. <laughs> rules. I got the stationary monitors badge. And Rude Boy's made his million. Shh. I've kept Rude Boy a secret from Mum this long. I don't want her to find out before tomorrow. Now that you've made a million, you're not going to close Rude Boy down, are you? I don't know yet. Missy. <sighs> Missy, it's Taj. Call me back. The triple M is in the building. <laughs> Danny Spooner Solutions. Blue Sky Business Ideas. What Blue Sky Business Ideas have you got to spend your one and a half percent on? Ah, well, first of all, I'm going to find out how much that is. I mean, one and a half percent for a million quid. That's like a... £15,000. How much? <laughs> well, in that case, tuna melts a lifetime supply. Congratulations. And she's still saying this party's not for you? Yeah. I can't remember those two losers would ever have anything to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Bet Carisha would get me now I'm rich. The ladies love a man slowed <laughs> Not all girls are like that. And anyway, didn't you know, Carisha's going to LA tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I was going to break it to him gently. Oh. <laughs> one at a time, please. We want the smooth notebooks, and there's only one left. Leave this to me, guys. I can make this work for us. I still need some leaves for my art project. If anybody can find any. Sweet, Omar. You know what? If we play this right, this stationary gig has got potential. <laughs> uh, Mrs L, what are you wearing? It's a bit casual. So, I'm only going to the chill, not Buckingham Palace. Well, the Taj did make it sound like a royal command. Well, you've got to dress up because... Because what? Is it a theme? Taj didn't mention a theme. What's the theme? <laughs> the theme? Uh, money. I mean, rich. Glamorous. <laughs> well, maybe when I am rich, I'll dress glamorous. <laughs> Come on, I thought you said we're in a hurry. <laughs> welcome to my surprise party. Everybody welcome. And let's throw out a wedge. <laughs> A minute? Why are they clapping for Mrs. L? Isn't this meant to be about me? <laughs> what is this? I enter the lottery without knowing. <laughs> Mum, this is for you. From me. OK. You enter the lottery without me knowing. <laughs> no, but I did scoop the jackpot. Mum, this is how it all started. And that's when I realised I'd done it. I'd made my million. Your million. 
What? Taj is rude, boy. Seymour and Daniel, Taj make a million pounds. It's really easy about me, is it? We're rich. We can be happy now. But I thought we were happy. Yeah, but now all your problems are over. Aren't you pleased? I... I... Uh... Sorry, Taj, this is... I can't take the money. You've sprung this on me. It's too much to take in. I'm sorry. I did not see that coming. Nothing's worked out the way it was meant to. Missy hasn't called back. Mum doesn't want the money. Remind me why I bothered again. I'm sure when Mrs L thinks about it, she'll see how great it is. She acted like I did something bad. Maybe it's like, well, when we were going out and I found out you were rude boy, I felt like you played a trick on me. The joke's on me now. How's he doing? Who? Frodo the Hobby. Who do you think? Taj, of course. Oh, right, yeah. Not good, geese. Not good. Bad. <laughs> so what are we going to do about it, see? I'm inventing recipes for dinner. In honour of what Taj has done for us, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> ask me, ask me. I'm good at recipes. Spoon of solutions. Always pushing the envelope. You're pushing something. <laughs> OK, genius. Think of a recipe idea. OK, uh... It's got to say, Mrs L isn't giving you the credit you deserve for starting your own business and making a million, but you possibly think you're well wicked. <laughs> so I'll say all that. Using exotic vegetables. <laughs> All right, um, I'm thinking a, a potato-based dish. We got the cash mash. <laughs> then you can open up. Actually, that's a good one. Potato is a comfort food. It might help pick Taj up. I don't know, see. After the way Mrs L acted all disappointed, it would take more than mash to make Taj feel good about the million. You know, never underestimate that healing power of food, Danny. What are you doing? My head hurts. <sighs> At least you know the hard work paid off in the end. Yeah. Making the million came down to a Flash character I designed as a freebie for the website. That wasn't hard work. It was just luck. And me making this arm go ka-ching? Genius. <laughs> I think of all the good times you've had with Seymour. Yeah. Friends for life, bro. And, Danny. You know, if I almost shut my eyes, it looks like I have two heads. <laughs> <laughs> the taxi to the airport. The taxi fare? I forgot to save up for the taxi fare! <gasps> Me? On public transport? <gasps> That's so wrong. You'll never make it on time. Take this 50 quid Granny C gave me. That'll get you to the airport. Thanks. <laughs> 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 you know, just a few months ago, I was a little girl with a big dream. You go, girl. Thanks, Jez. No, you go. You taxi. <laughs> Love ya. Oh, it's been real. Have a big bum burger for me. <laughs> OK, maybe not you. <laughs> not me the big <laughs> oh. Goodbye, Carlton. Be strong. <laughs> I'll try. Say goodbye, Miss P. I'm not angry, Taj. I'm just sad that you felt you had to look after the family. I'm your mum. It's my job to look after you. I was just trying to help you. I know. And I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings and sport your party. It's cool. We could have another party. If you will take the million. <laughs> that money's really yours, Taj. <laughs> it's ours. And the first thing we've got to do is buy a bigger house with a basement. So I can have a studio. Or a club. With a DJ. <laughs> Me, of course. And soundproofing, please. <laughs> Just because you're a millionaire, don't think you don't have to keep up with your grades and go to college. Mum, chill. I want to go to college. Well, good. You know, Taj, what you've done is amazing. You set yourself a goal and you stuck to it. I am so proud of you. After he died, I promised Dad. 
I know he would have felt just the same as I do. needs a bit of R and R sometimes. Oh, I bet you do. Starring in this movie, mm -hmm. going to that premiere. I'm surprised you can take time out. Jasmine, to... I could stay and chat, but I don't want to. Huh? I'm way too busy. It's only a flying visit. Bye. Hmm. Excuse me, Miss Jet Setting Starlet. Are you sure you and Taj won't be getting back together again? I dumped him, and now he's made his million. I want to go back out with him again. What's that gonna look like? I'm like you realise you were made for each other. Catching. So how long's Missy staying for? Your sister's only just got back, and you're trying to get rid of her. Don't you dare spoil her holiday. So, where is she now? <laughs> Asleep. She's on LA time. <laughs> Why does that excuse never work for me? <laughs> How soon you'll be off to Barbados to be with Granny C. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I asked you two to come here for a reason. I speak the language of love, and I'm here to translate. Honestly, Michael, me and Taj are just friends. Uh, that means I wish me and Taj weren't just friends. Huh? Ah, uh, he says I wish we were dating again as well. Oh, I wish we were going back out together, but I feel awkward about saying it now you're rich. But that doesn't matter. It does matter to me. Alex, why don't you just admit how you feel? <laughs> well, you could decide to date me again. <laughs> oh, I see you're sticking with option one. <laughs> All that star spotting and stuff. Well, when you've seen Orlando Bloom tossing his wet hair as he steps out of a pool with water cascading off him once, you've seen it a hundred times. I see. <laughs> oh, Taj, look, Missy's awake. <laughs> Hi, Missy. <laughs> so, will you be giving up your job at the cafe when you go back? No way. I need the tips. <laughs> but what about all the acting work you've been getting? Uh, uh, when I said tips, I meant acting tips, you know, showbiz tips. <laughs> Missy, you're back. Did you get my messages? Is your phone broken? Oh, uh, no, I just diverted all my calls because... because it was like, Matt Damon, stop calling me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, the reason I've been calling you is because I've made the million. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'm going to fall for that one again. <laughs> I can't believe she's left me, just when I made it. Oh, don't sweat it, Dan. It just means she doesn't care about you anymore. <laughs> Doing favours for other people sucks, doesn't it? Big time. I've lost out with Alex. I'm all on my own here. <laughs> I'm closing down, dude boy. I might end up having to look after Miss Petunia. Oh, OK, you win. You know what? <laughs> you two need dates with Spooner Solutions, off-the-wall answers to all your problems. <laughs> all right, Missy. Missy! <laughs> <laughs> Try to talk to her. She'll call the fame police. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you in LA? <laughs> what, what are you doing back here? Missy! <laughs> Carisha! <laughs> you can't bail for me! Thought she looked a bit rough. I mean, 20,000 tons of metal hanging in the air? Me 
Gig. They stripped me of my badge, Taj. You get a million, I get detention, I'm already a failure and I'm only 12. You're not a failure. You've got a good business mind. You're just not using it right. Look, I want you to start a page on the Rude Boy site. Yeah, that's it. Tease me. Twist the knife, why don't you? I mean it. It's true. Yes! Rude brother gets a piece of the rude pie. Uh, nothing big, mind. You know, message board, ringtones, that kind of thing. Hmm. I've got to have a new tag. I'm going to be... Rude kid. <laughs> but not in the annoying Flash character way. <laughs> Thanks, Taj. You won't regret this, bro. I'm regretting it already. Remember, rude boy's the big time. It's not like those scams you and Leon pull. Yeah, I know. All we get from those is grounded. <laughs> this is the big money. It's not all about the money. Rude Boy's got a rep. And if you want to be part of it, you've got to deliver the call. Deliver? Cool. Got ya. <laughs> but it's really about the money, though, isn't it? <laughs> so, to kick off, Seymour's going to introduce the million pound menu. Recipes he's invented specially. So, let's hear it for Seymour! Seymour! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a selection of starters. ker things. <laughs> for the main course, the triple M. Making a million for mum. And for dessert, Rude Kid. <laughs> oh, no. here's the bill. I thought the million pound menu was just a name. Barbados, so we can still sing this P. Listen, bruv, we just want to thank you for what you did. We really appreciate it. Oh, no worries, dude. <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh, we've had good times. And bad times. And even times... Times when... Sometimes... Times tables? <laughs> the touch, the genius is gone. I've been thinking so much, I've bent my brain. Don't worry, bruv. We know what you're trying to say. <laughs> we made it in the end. Kerching! <laughs> Oh, the